Omega Lady Matic presents Leading Women. Lunch service at one of France's most renowned restaurants. Every participant plays a carefully orchestrated role. You might need a second glance and close ear to spot the grande dame behind it all. She's everywhere from start to finish, bringing edible masterpieces to life. Always I'm thinking about the combination of flavors. It can be an obsession, right? She's part chef, architect, and scientist. It's interesting also in the kitchen is not to use only acidity, uh, but bitterness is very interesting too. In an industry dominated by men, this chef de cuisine stands out from the pack. As the first female chef in more than 50 years, awarded the coveted maximum three-star Michelin honor, and only the fourth woman ever to win the top award. She remembers vividly the moment she found out. When you have the call, of course, a lot of emotion. Uh, I was with my husband. And uh, it's like, uh, like in five minutes, you remember the 20 years. It's, uh, it's incredible. This tour de force in the world of gastronomy is Anne-Sophie Pick. Paris, beloved tourist destination and food lover's playground. But some 480 kilometers away in the southeastern corner of the country, the small town Valence is home to a culinary gem of its own, the world-renowned Maison Pic. It's here we find fourth-generation chef Anne-Sophie Pic at the restaurant that's been in her family since 1889. Since she took over 10 years ago, Madame Pique has led this dynasty to a whole new level. She and her husband, David, carefully selected every piece in the exquisite dining room, from the Baccarat crystals to the fine Belgian linens. The main focus, of course, is the food. And what is very important too is um, to think about the way people are going to, to, to taste the, the dish. She's considered an unlikely top chef first as a woman in a testosterone-dominated industry, and second for her soft-spoken, almost shy demeanor. And Sophie, do you believe there is a glass ceiling for women? I was thinking like that at the beginning, the very beginning. I, I was thinking that to be a woman was an inconvenience, major inconvenience, because uh, this job, you need to be very strong uh, mentally, physically. The profession uh, was not uh, ready to accept a woman at this level of cuisine. But little by little, uh, fin finally, uh, I acknowledged that uh, it was uh, something very strong because it's another way of thinking cuisine, a little bit different, uh, an another way of managing people also. Peak is a chef who prizes emotion in her food over technique. I think uh, uh, all my emotions are feminine, so I, I give this feminine way in my, in my cuisine, of course. So it's no surprise that her food is considered feminine in its taste and presentation. She's also known for her vegetable and fish preparations. Here she plates a pinwheel of asparagus spears, accented with anchovies and caviar. How has your cuisine evolved over the years? I think uh, it has evolved uh, very close to my, my own evolution. Uh, I was uh, married, but uh, I was with, without child, child, so I became a mother. Also, uh, my character, I'm never satisfied with uh, my work. So, of course, it helps me to, to change my dishes, to improve my dishes. That drive to perfect her menu and shore up her brand means Peak's reach goes well beyond the family restaurant. Her empire includes a five-star boutique hotel, a delicatessen serving the family champagne and wine label, and Skook, her own cooking school, which she closes at least a morning a week to experiment in her kitchen. Today, Anne-Sophie Peak sits at the top of the culinary world, but it was actually a painful experience that propelled her to the industry. We'll learn more about Peak in the coming weeks, how her bond with family 
pushed her to achieve what she and many others never expected.